Hello, I'm scientist Shane here once again with the Kentucky Science Center with another Do Science at Home activity. Today we are going to uh, introduce a way to, uh, to bring elevation charts, topography, and map making into a, uh, a child's at home learning. Uh, you can do this activity with a couple simple uh, things that you most likely have on hand. If not, they're very easily obtainable through uh, just craft stores. We have Play-Doh, our clay cutter, which is a wire and popsicle sticks, but you can also do the same thing with uh, dental floss, paper or cardstock, and colored pencils. And what we are going to do first is build our mountain forms. So we just take our clay and we build any land shape, land mass that we want on our map, our canvas here. And we can use multiple colors. We can keep it all just one color. We can do mountain ranges. Anything that your, uh, your heart desires on this. And you can actually encourage imaginative play with this as well and have them come up with a story behind how the land was formed, if it was glacier erosion, just heavy water, anything you want. Um, so once we're happy with our mountain range, we are now going to get into the, uh, the exciting part of this activity, and that is cutting our clay with our wire tool. So we want to start by making even cuts across our entire clay see if we can get this going and if you miss some of the forms which are cut that is fine when you go lower you'll actually catch the rest of it so we want to make certain we are doing even cuts even spaces around the entirety of the clay form and do about one more here All right, once I have all the pieces cut, now we are going to make this into a topography map. The way we do that is we are going to trace all of our slices one at a time. So I wanna start with the lowest trace, the lowest slice, which is all three of our mountain formations. Once I'm finished with that trace, I am now going to remove that bottom formation. Off of each landmass. And now I am presented with a different outline. Just simply trace this new outline again. And if you made a landmass that did not get uh, cut in this section, like maybe it was smaller than the other ones, or it blended in and overlapped another one, you can actually just ignore it. That's part of the fun of the typography map, is the uh, organic nature of the resulting process. Once we're finished with that, we are going to go ahead and remove the next section, and place them down. And you'll notice on this one, that green only has one remaining section because that green was a smaller mountain than the rest of it. Oh, knocked it around. And since this is just a creative activity to get you introduced into topography and elevation, you do not have to worry about the exact placement. And if you accidentally knock some of the pieces around, that is okay. So now we are done with the Till Mountain. We have one more piece on the pink and one more piece on this red. We're going to go ahead and finish tracing these. Place those to the side. And now we have to decide what colors our different layers are going to uh, be represented by. 
And if you think about uh, regular elevation charts, they usually go in different uh, hues. So from blue to red. And that's how we are going to perform this one as well. Uh, we are going to start with, we'll start with light blue as the bottom layer. So every formation was included in that light blue layer. So we want to just color in the outline. If the inner shape forms a new outline, we do not want to fill that in because that represents a higher elevation. And this is where it really also becomes kind of a, uh, an art project as well. And if you want to use this in a form of storytelling so you can have them create their own land, their own uh, world and their world building exercise, you can absolutely do it with this as well. So now that we finished all of our outlines for that one color, we're going to go to the next stage color, which is this dark blue. And once again, all of the mountains and the formations were included in this, so we are going to just fill in that next outline. And be careful not to fill in any of the inner shapes unless they are only on that sliced layer. And this will represent that second layer that we, we cut there. All right, once we are done with that, it looks like our one mountain only has one layer left. We're gonna go with dark green now. And we're going to color this one in completely because there's not a new layer on there. But the middle mountain, we have two layers left. Same thing with the uh, mountain on the end. And you can have your kids decide if each layer is 500 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet, and see if uh, they made Mount Kilimanjaro or Mount Olympus off of Mars. Um, so we have one last layer here, and I'm going to use this light green. And this first mountain got missed completely on that slice. That's absolutely fine. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in these last two mountains. And we are finished with our elevation chart that is representative of these mountain forms. And so it's a good introductory to the, uh, the elevation and topography lesson plan. And you can make it a familiar, uh, a familiar thing whenever you actually get into studying maps and figuring out where you are or hiking. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and thank you for joining me.